A slave? You. I'm not your slave. I gave my life to the Hey, TikTokers and TikTok world, it's just Joe again. Um, click and watch the rest of that video. This guy makes the claim that when you sin, um, when you've fallen and make mistakes, bad judgment calls, and sin, that you are no longer saved and that God doesn't view you as saved and neither does the devil. And that the second that you, that you sin, the second that... Um, You've made that bad choice, you are now no longer saved, and you're the actual property of the devil. Well, I'm here to let you know the Bible clearly does not state that. It says that when Jesus Christ died on the cross, that he died for all sins of all time. That doesn't mean the sins to the point where he died on the cross or the sins that occurred on the earth before he died on the cross. It says he died for all sins of all mankind of all time, which means from the very first day of Adam to the very last day of mankind's history, all of sin throughout all of time was paid for and placed on our Savior Jesus Christ on the cross. Now, Bible also says that when you're saved, no man can pluck you out of God's hand, that you have your salvation, that we have security in our salvation. Now, yes, you can choose to walk away and give up the gift of salvation that Jesus Christ paid for for us. That we can return the gift that he's given us and say, no, thank you. I've decided I no longer want it. However, just because we sin, because we're still in the flesh, does not mean that we're no longer saved or that we have forfeited or lost the gift of salvation. It also, the Bible goes on to state that we are covered in the blood, that we are protected by Jesus and the angels that he sends out before us, behind us, and to the east and to the west of us. You see that it says that uh, God and his sacrifice on the cross, it is finished, was the words of Jesus. There's nothing else to be done. Uh, the Satan and sin is not more powerful than Jesus Christ or his gift of, of of his sacrifice on the cross for our salvation. Our salvation and our God is more powerful than the God of this earth. The guy in this video goes on to state that Satan rules the earth. Well, Bible does say that he is the God of the air, which uh, it was spelled uh, differently than how we'd spell it in English, meaning everything from the top of Mount Helen and down... Uh, in, or Mount Olympus, and I'm sorry, I said St. Helen, but I meant Mount Olympus and down, so about 6,000 feet into the air and all the way down to earth is Satan's domain. But remember, Satan's domain was stolen. He tricked Adam and Eve, if you will, to give up what God had given them as a right to have um, as his children um, for knowledge. And so Satan is temporarily ruling this world. Uh, with that contract that pretty much God gave to Adam and to Eve. Um, but the thing is, is let's continue reading the Bible. At the very end in Revelation, it states, and I hate to tell this creator this, but well, actually I really don't hate it. I want him to know this. God wins. Satan tries to claim and keep his territory, the the earth. But God says, no, this was mine and always has been, and he loses. Um, and like that, he loses. So just like that, Satan has no power over us. We are saved and sanctified by the blood of Jesus Christ. And though we still do sin because we do have sin in our flesh because we're still of a fleshly body, does not mean we lose our salvation the second that we sin. Nowhere does scripture state, black and white, words on paper, that the second you make a mistake or the second that you sin or that you fall or make a bad choice, that instantly God rebukes you and does away with you. Nope, because see, when you become saved, he doesn't see you, sir, for who you are. He doesn't see, ma'am, who you are. Like, he doesn't see, my name's Joe, he doesn't see Joe. When he looks at me, he sees Jesus Christ. It says that Christ changed our sins for his righteousness, like a cloak. It's like walk, a rich billionaire, Elon Musk, 
walks up and sees a homeless man. And he says, hey, man, have my coat. Well, his coat has his name written across his chest, Elon Musk. So every time uh, you know, anyone was to look at this homeless man, they would see Elon Musk. It's the same thing with us. You know, we took our filthy, dirty rags, our filthy, dirty cloak, and exchanged it for the righteousness uh, cloak of Jesus Christ. God doesn't see Joe Collins. He doesn't see Christianity made simple. He sees Jesus Christ when he looks at me. Now, if you have ever asked Jesus into your life, and if you... You know, you do your best to be the best Christian that you can, and you follow the word to the best that you can. If you are saved, in other words, God doesn't see you. He sees his son, Jesus, because Jesus made the exchange. So fear not, little ones. Fear not. Study to show thyself approved as scripture states. Don't let creators on this TikTok account deceive you into believing that you're not saved because you've made a bad choice, or because you've sinned. Stay strong, my fellow believers.